Hey guys, what's happening? I'm Jim and this is episode number four of my Luminar AI tutorial series. It's all about getting started with Luminar AI, getting you up and running quickly, and today we're talking about plugins. You can use Luminar AI as a plugin from several popular host applications, including Photoshop, Lightroom, and Apple Photos. I'm gonna show you how all of those work. The first thing you need to do is if you're in Luminar AI, go to the Luminar AI menu and click Install Plugins. This little dialog box shows up. I'll move it over here so you can see it better on the right-hand side. Just make sure that you've installed it to Photoshop and Lightroom. That will allow you to use it as a plugin from those apps. I'm gonna say Done. In the instance of Apple Photos, click your Mac or Apple icon, go to System Preferences, and choose Extensions. Then click on Photo Editing and make sure you have a check mark in the box next to Luminar AI. That'll set you up for using it with Apple Photos. Okay, first things first, here I am in Photoshop and this is a raw file. Made a couple of minor edits in Adobe Camera Raw, but here we go. And if I wanna go from Photoshop over to Luminar AI, you can click Filter and then Skyloom Software and then Luminar AI and that will take the photo over there. From there, you can do various edits, click apply, it'll send it back. Now, let's go ahead and do that. Luminar AI, you can see it says plugin started. And here we are, I've landed in Luminar AI on the templates tab. I'm gonna click edit and come over here and make a couple of enhancements to the photo. And I'm just kind of winging it. This is not a tutorial on how I'd edit the photo. Maybe brighten a little bit, a little bit of contrast, put on the highlights, up the shadows. I'm just kind of making it up. There's a lot I need to do to this photo, but let's pretend that I'm happy with this photo. I'm gonna click apply, send it back to Photoshop. And here we go, here's my image in Photoshop and you can see it's down here. Now the thing is there's actually a better way to do this. So I'm gonna close this file and show you a different, better way to work with Luminar from Photoshop. Okay, here we are once more, there's my base image. Now what you can do is you can right click on the layer down here and convert to smart object. When you do that, it gives you some really powerful control. So I've done that, and now I'm gonna click Filter and Skyloom Software and Luminar AI. Okay, and once again, here's my photo in Luminar on the Templates tab. I'm gonna click Edit and move over here and do a few things. Let's say Accent AI, a little Sky Enhancer. Maybe it needs to be even more vibrant. I know it's very colorful. I'm just kind of playing here. Uh, a little contrast, pull down the highlights, up the shadows, whatever. You can see that I've adjusted three different tools, light, enhance AI, and color. So let's say I'm happy, I'm gonna click apply, send it back to Photoshop. Now here's the difference and why I think this is a better way to do it. If you look down here, you can see it's smart filter because we created a smart object, it's got smart filters applied and Luminar AI. So if I double click on that, it will relaunch it back in Luminar AI. But the cool thing is when I'm back in Luminar AI, all the edits that I made are still editable. So Everything that I adjusted in light is there, same with AI Enhance, and same with color. And so that gives you the ability, because it's a smart object, to go back to Luminar AI and readjust from the exact same place that you left off. Very powerful, very useful. I think that's the preferred method. Now, let's talk about Lightroom. Okay, here is a raw file in Lightroom. And from Lightroom, you have several different ways you can get the photo over to Luminar AI. If you're sitting here with the raw file, or any file, frankly, the first thing you may wanna do is just go to Photo, Edit In, and then choose Luminar AI. When you do, you'll get a dialog box that says, Edit a copy with Lightroom Adjustments. Now, this is a raw file. I have not made any Lightroom Adjustments. You also get edit a copy or edit original, but note the dialog box here says it's not applicable to raw files, which is what I have. For sending the file over, you have various options here to choose your file format, resolution, etc. Then you just click edit and it drops it into Luminar AI. Now, if I had made a couple of edits to this photo, let's say I bring up the shadows a little bit, tiny bit of contrast, maybe pull down the highlights a little bit and give it a little bit of clarity and maybe a slight bump in exposure, now, if I do that same thing, photo, edit in, Luminar AI, the same dialog box comes up in a course, but this time I actually have Lightroom adjustments, which means it'll carry those over to Luminar for you. I'm gonna cancel. There's a couple of other things you can do. In the left-hand menu under File, you have Plugin Extras, and if you look down here, you can see that I can transfer to Luminar AI, and that will basically send your raw file over to Luminar AI, where you can edit and then bring it back to Lightroom. And also under the file menu, you have export with preset. And if you look here under Luminar AI, 
edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments, or open source files. I'm going to go ahead and just open the source file, send this raw file over to Luminar AI, make a couple of edits. Here we are in Luminar AI. Now note there's no adjustments to this photo because I sent the raw file. Remember, in Lightroom, I had already made some edits, but because I chose that option to send the raw file, it's an unedited photo. So I can click edit, I can come in here and say, well, I really need some accent AI, little sky enhancer, it's a little too dark, so maybe I should increase that exposure. I want a little contrast, I wanna pull down the highlights, bump up the shadows, I'm gonna go into color, way too green and yellow in the grass, so I'm gonna take the saturation of those down, just to tame that a little bit, and let's say I'm happy with that. Then I can just click apply, and it'll send it back into Lightroom for me. And now we're gonna talk about photos. So here I am with another raw file in Apple Photos, and if I wanna edit, I click on the Edit tab, and then there's these three little dots here, and that's how you get to your extension. So you just click on that and choose Luminar AI. And once again, it's landing on the template tab. If I wanna go straight to Edit, I can choose that and come over here and again, need some Accent AI, maybe a little sky enhancer, maybe a slight bump in exposure, maybe a little contrast. Let's pull down the highlights a tiny bit, give it some shadows. Again, I'm making it up. Lots of things I can and probably should do to this photo. The point is I've taken it from Photos and brought it into Luminar AI, and then I just hit Save Changes and it drops it back into Apple Photos for me. So that's really it. That's a quick summary of the possible workflow ideas and how the plugins work from Photoshop, Lightroom, and Photos. Hope it gives you some ideas about how to work with those host apps if you use them. And of course, as you know, as I've talked about in the catalog video there, you can use Luminar AI as a standalone with its own catalog. The choice is yours, you have the flexibility, but that's it. This is my summary video about using it as a plugin from those three popular host apps. Thanks for watching my friends. I'll be back really soon with episode number five. I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves and adios.